Hello, everyone, and welcome to Apple One to One Training. This is Will, a former Apple creative, Apple genius, working at Apple for 11 years. And today, we wanted to move away from our macOS environment when it comes to pages, numbers, and keynote. And we want to talk about the iOS version of it. And we're going to be using the iPad version here. That way, we can get a bigger screen. But I wanted to go over pages as if someone was completely new. All right, so first thing I did is I opened up, we're in iOS 17 here, so they are discussing the new items that are in this, including 3D objects, decorating with stickers, new minimalist report template, create report with elegant typography colors in the layout, and then more paragraph style options for background colors and borders. So there's a whole list here if you want to take a look at it, but what we're going to do is we're talking just the basics here of starting off. So we're going to hit continue, and already we're in my iCloud Drive, but of course you can go on your iPad, you can go, I have other apps like QFile Pro, and I have all my folders and my favorites here on the side, all the shared items that have been sent to me. So all, all this is located here on the left side, but we're not going to really talk about this. We're talking about making a simple document. So we're going to start on my iPad just because I want to start with the basics. We have a create a document option here. And by starting point, we have the templates. So we have recent templates that I've opened up, which are definitely probably syncing from my Mac. And then we have basics here for note taking, landscape mode, reports. So you have all your templates that are very familiar in Mac OS. They're all here. So you can do business cards, miscellaneous, so let's go with a real basic start. We'll do a blank page. And here we are. So right away, it's actually giving us a little warning. There's a print and export. Uh, to print, export, or change settings for this document, tap its name in the toolbar. So there's like a little button here. So you have options to name your document, move it somewhere within your files, export it, and print it is right up here at the top. So it's already giving us that. So here we are in a blank document. And we're going to go over just the basics of all the tools on the top and just how to type. So obviously it's very easy. All we got to do is say hello. We're typing as we're going. And then let's talk about some of the items that we have down here inside your toolbar. So we have tabs and data orientation right here. We have ABC, which is pretty obvious. It's going to be your font type. You can go to I and you can do like the light and the bold. So if you want to do that, you go hello and you can change it. You can of course double tap it and you can go to ABC. And if I want to do Arial, I could do that. So obviously the easy things here. If you need to change the size, it's all on this side. A little odd that they separate it, but you also have bold italicized. So if you want to highlight something, so we're going to highlight it, drag across here with the arrow. I'm using my finger to drag across the blue dots that are on the top. And then going right here to AA, and then I could do 14. I could do bold, italicized, things like that. I wish that if I'm tapping 24 that it wouldn't go away. I kind of like the idea of it maybe staying up there. So, but that's just the way they build it. And then, you, of course, you have your alignment if you want to do center. You also have comment, page break, if you want to do a line break, a section break, column break. So you have different things in here. We're not going to go over those in detail. We do have other videos on macOS that talk about some of these items on there. And then we're going to go up to the top of the bar here. And probably the pane you're going to use the most is the format bar. So here we are at paragraph styles. So paragraph styles are super important in video. We do talk about them in our other videos, especially my pages one where I'm beginning stages. But in here, usually you're always going to have a heading or a title, so you have all these different options here, and then I'm going to hit title on here. So what it did is it actually realigned it, because title is a style that goes to the left, and what it does, it also moves it over and gives it a bolder style. But you can edit this, so like right now, if I decide that I want to do ABC and I want to go to, a let's say, Optima, if I go back to the style, you're going to see a little update button there, and that's important to know because if you're going to use the title or the style somewhere else in the video, you need to know that. So I'm going to hit update, and then going forward, when I, let's say I'm in the body here, I say hello, and then I go down a couple steps. If I want to change to that style again, all I got to do is tap on it, go to body, hit title, and then do hello again, and you can see it reflected that change. That way you're not highlighting all over the document and changing the font all around. So this is a very important pane here for the format pane. Now, depending on what you're clicking on, the format pane is going to change. So for example, if I'm going to go down the document, I'm going to add a shape here. And then if I go to format, the format now is to style, 
text and a range. So style is pretty easy. It's just coloring, borders, shadows, things like that. Text is if you're going to write text in the box, what you want font-wise, what you want text-wise. It's all laid out here in format. And then you have a range. Uh, so if you want to arrange it or reposition it, you can do that. Even though if I move this paint around, you know, you could do that here, but you can also do it very specifically if you need the correct proportions. Rotation, if you want to do rotation, which is kind of neat. So you have a bunch of different options under format and it will change based on what you have. So we'll add another item here. We'll go down hit return. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a, like a chart. So we'll add a chart. And then if I go to format pane, now I have different styles. If I want a title or I don't. So format's gonna be a very important here. This paintbrush is gonna be very important to know about. So let's go ahead and let's delete everything we just did. I'm going to select it and then I can hit delete. So as you can see, as I tap on it, it gives me almost like a mini toolbar what, what I could do with that. So you could do links, you could do add to shapes, you could select shapes. So we're going to just delete it here on here. Remember, we're making a real basic document. Also, if there's something that you accidentally got rid of and you want to go back, there is an undo button next to format. So that little arrow that's with a circle, you just hit that and then you see it's undoing everything I did. But also, if you hold your finger down, you could redo. So that's how you redo it instead of undoing. So that's also nice as well. Over here, you can have simple tools, uh, a bunch of random tools here. You can do find, tracking, bookmarking, mail merging. So mail merging, obviously, is big for some people. I don't see a lot of people using it. Uh, but settings, how you want to do guides, how do you want to set this up. Uh, if you uh, Apple Pencil uh, ideas in here. Also, you have document preview. So this button right here is basically a non-editing mode. You're, the whole idea of this is that you're just simply doing a presentation. You're not doing any editing. You want to just get out of edit mode. So it just lets you like kind of like look at the document without physically editing it. So up here, we're going to rename it. So I'm going to go rename and we'll call it test. Hit done. And then if I go back, what's going to happen now is it saves it here on the iPad only. But if I tap on it and I decide, you know what, maybe I want to go to iCloud. So I'm going to go here, go to move, and then I'm going to go to iCloud and I can save it right to my desktop, which connects directly to my Mac. And I'm going to copy it there. As you can see, it's saying the word copy. It's not actually moving it there because you remove, you're going from one location to another. Think of it like you're going to a USB drive. They're never going to move the file. They're going to copy the file. Okay, so now you have two versions of the file. Now you can also go to print. So if you're somewhere where you're home and you have like air print set up, a lot of printers today you could do this. You could do print, you could do export, you have PDF, Word, you could do RTF, images, things like that. Uh, also, the share button here is if you want to collaborate. So if you want to collaborate with somebody else within this document, like if I want to go to Frank Funk here, I can ask Frank Funk to join this and give him, send him a text message, and then he is going to be able to collaborate. I can also just send a copy. That way, if I don't want him to edit it, I just want him to see it. Uh, that way, I know about it. So you could do that as well. It sends like a link that he can add to his uh, profile. And then, of course, there's like mail. You could do Twitter, notes. So you could do like a bunch of different other options down here. You can invite with a link. So if you want to create the link and then you send it to somebody. So there's a bunch of different things you can do, but these are the basics of starting out. So when you are, uh, let's go to edit again. So really the idea here, if you want to go to table of contents, you can make that. You can do tables in here. You can slide across all the different tables. You can go to your images on the right there. So there's so many different options built directly into this pages. And this was just a real basic overview. So you can get an idea of what some of the buttons are. Uh, how do you change certain things? So I thought it was a real good starting point to this. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. We do respond to every comment. We really try to either give you thanks or we want to know what else you want to learn. Or even if you have questions, we try to find the answers. So definitely hit us up here, here at Apple One to One. Please like and subscribe. I thank you guys very much. And I love every single one of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.